This is Twit. Uh oh, Steve. Of course, we're just going to mention it、uh, because it just happened a couple of minutes ago,、uh, towards the end of MacBreak Weekly. Actually, there was a.、Um, I'm 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 not even going to call it an exploit. I'm just going to call it someone fat fingered something when they were releasing the new version of OS X, OS X, that allows someone to put root as the username, no password, and just enter that in a couple of times, and then gain access to root. For Mac OS 10, that's that's bad. It's going to be patched within. I, I'm bet I'm betting within the hour or so.、Uh, but、uh, I I I don't want to cover it because I'm more interested in figuring out in the in the post exactly what allowed that to happen. Well, Have, okay, so so what little we know because I I mean I was learning of it. I was、uh, finishing putting the show together. When the news hit, so I don't have any additional detail. But there's an important takeaway from our listeners, which is that they need to make sure no one has access to their Mac OS X machines in the interim. This is a complete security bypass of all logon authentication for this latest version of Mac OS X. And as you said, you put root in as a user, leave the password blank, try it a few times, and it, I guess it fails initially, and then it succeeds, and logs you in with absolute root privilege on any one of these most recently updated Mac OS tens. So yes, Apple's going to fix it, but what this means, and it's not a remote exploit, but it it means that right now there are People, mischievous people, learning about this, who know they have a, a a small window of opportunity before this gets fixed, during which time they have unrestricted access to any Mac machine that they can find. So, any machines that you have physical control over, our listeners who are listening to this,、um, be careful. And you know you might try it yourself, but don't do anything to hurt yourself if this if this works. But anyway, so this is just breaking news, and certainly by the time we know more about it next week, this will have been patched. But right now, you know, the, the, certainly this is going like wildfire through the globe, and what it means is very embarrassingly at this moment, all of the most recently updated Mac OS X systems. Are vulnerable to a local attack, allowing anyone to get root on the machine and, you know, have at the machine. So a complete bypass of logon security. Right, and, and this is going to work with the high Sierra high Sierra distro of OS X. So check to see if that's what you've got.、Um, and, and yes, as you, as you mentioned, it's going to be patched almost immediately. I'm sure that there's a lot of egg. Over at the campus right now on faces,、oh. uh, yeah. But but what has me about this is the fact that it takes a couple of times to take you. So you I have agree. To, it's a weird. That's it's a weird strange, weird bug. Yeah, th this is so, not a hard coded password. Th this sounds like there's a call somewhere that ends up calling to the wrong thing if you if you、uh, air the if you the authentication exceed, enough. If, if, if you exactly so、yeah. so for example. We know there are normal lockouts to prevent you from guessing, and or sometimes various systems will will slow down and and get more deliberately laggy to prevent you from continually guessing incorrectly. So there, it makes sense that there could be a multiple failure branch which is engaged if you fail several times. Unfortunately, it then fails open rather、right. than failing closed. <laughs> So, Wait, so that's just a、whoops. bit. That's a bit that flipped. No, no, no biggie. Yeah, yeah that man in the chat room points it out. He said, "Look, it's it's the lockout call. So when it's supposed to call for a lockout, instead、yep. it calls for this broken authentication, which、a、is lock in. awesome." <laughs>